What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be trying to do a little bit of prying. Uh, I'm going to get the truck over here on this side uh, in the empty bay behind me and hopefully get some prime on it and get the side so I can start working on the rest of the truck. Um, I've already cleaned the bay out and swept it. I've uh, got as much as the debris and little things out of it as I possibly can in order to try to get the finish as best as I possibly can. Um, well, as you can see, I got it moved over here. Started right up. I had to charge the battery a little bit first. Obviously, it's been over there a little bit. But we got it over here. We've got it uh, in a position. And if you notice, I have a lot more room over here. And, you know, I like that because I can actually get around, spray it. You know, not have to worry about dragging a hose into something. And, you know, I, this also gives me a chance to clean that side of the shop out. Um, you know, it, it hasn't been done for a minute, so I'm going to get some of the scrap and the trash and the floors cleaned up and some of the things out of there so I can make a little bit more room so for the next project we do we might actually get two of them in here at the same time whoa we're used to that <clears throat> you know engine swapping on this side body work on the other yeah but anyway we're getting to that point we're moving toward that direction so you know I'm just happy that we're actually going to be able to get something done on this and then you know move on to the next So we've got it ready to prime. Uh, if you notice, I took all the chrome off of it and taped up all the glass as best I could for what I'm going to be doing for that area. I really didn't want to get any overspray on the glass. That only eliminates me after the scrape with a razor blade. I had to take the rear bumper off, the wheel lip molding, and the door seal so I could actually get an absolute seamless when I go to sand and then paint later on. Uh, rear bumper obviously had to come off because I can't get in there to spray. Now the last thing you noticed that I did in the video was actually took a prep cleaner and cleaned that entire side which removes dirt, oil, any residues that would keep the paint from adhering and the primer from adhering. Which uh, obviously I'm using a different stage because this is just a base primer I got a seal on top of that. So the base is honestly the crucial part that I got to do right now is to make sure that that's going to stay on the truck and it's not going to have any adherence issues whatsoever so that's why you see me take and scuff and sand places that the sander didn't get in the little lips and moldings and stuff in order to make sure that every possible nook and cranny will stick when I go to prime this truck so stay tuned we'll get this thing primed and let's see how it turns out all right, so let's go ahead and get this thing primed.
All right, so I got the prime wired on the truck and I'm absolutely just ecstatic with the results. I cannot complain whatsoever. It laid down beautifully. I had no adhesion issues whatsoever. A lot of that's because the extra preparation I took beforehand, a little extra cleaning will go a long way at the end result. Believe me, folks, it's something I want to stress to you guys at home. If you've got a project like this you're doing, you know, take a little extra time. A little extra cleaning never hurts anything and it will, you know, show up in the results when you actually lay the paint down. Because if your prime layer peels away because it didn't adhere, everything above your prime layer peels away up with it. And well, at that point, your paint job is trash and nobody likes that. So unfortunately today, folks, that's all we have time for. But on the next episode, we're going to try to get the remainder of this truck primed. We'll see how far we get. Before we go today, I want to go over a topic that is important to me. Uh, this is our Rods and Rifles official t-shirt. We've got the logo up front. We've got the American flag on the sleeve, and on the back we've got an American flag and a shield. And the reason I had these shirts made is because I wanted to show support for those who have given it all so we can enjoy the freedoms that we do on this channel and actually be able to have this channel to show you some of the stuff that we enjoy doing and for your watching enjoyment. So if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to do this and be able to live in a free country that we have. So <clears throat> thank you guys, you know, for what you've done. And thanks to families for those who have fallen. And honestly, if you want one of these shirts, pick it up at the uh, link in the description off our website. I believe you're gonna love it. I hope you love it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So if you like what we're doing, hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, and thanks for watching folks. Stay tuned for the next episode when we get some more stuff on this truck.